Welcome, Welcome back, back DV. TV. This week's episode, we got a lot in store for you today. So what's the first thing, DJ? You know we're going to talk about that teacher spotlight. And Ben's been killing it at the competition lately. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe Man. you should join in. I think about that one. I think one. you could play. Try it out. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Is that not good? Let, let's be serious. We also have to talk about... Mental health. Mm -hmm. I know it's getting that time of the year. People are starting to struggle, stress out for school, sports. So you know we got to get that mental health in check. Yep. Speaking of stressed out, Speech and Debate is about to start their competition season. Hey, with that Speech and Debate, you have to use big words mm -hmm. and a lot of knowledge. So you know we're going to hit you with that word of the day. Oh, yeah. So let's get to it. Coach Kelly. Oh yeah, you know it, you love it. Softball's been up to a great season, so let's hear from Brooklyn and Addie all about it. Welcome to Teacher of the Week. What brought you to Green Valley, Coach Kelly? I needed a change, and this was that positive change that I wanted, and I'm excited to be here. Awesome, awesome. And our second question is, what song gets you the most hype whenever you're working out? Oh man. I'd say probably Pure Water right now. like. That's a good, it's just good beat, good vibe. Mm -hmm. Like that is definitely- Get them gains in? Exactly, you gotta get them gains in, man. Mm -hmm. For sure. Awesome. And then lastly, what are you most looking forward to this school year? Um, this school year is just being able to see, you know, what all Green Valley is about. Um, getting to know new students, new faculty members, and then just, you know, being able to find my fit and find my family here at Green Valley. Let's go, Coach Kelly. Dang, Coach Kelly's really been doing great. Yeah, I heard that band's also really doing really oh, good. Oh, have they? Can you play a little opener for them? You think I can? I think you can. Da -da 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 -da. And on that note, let's give band a huge congratulations for winning their open class grand championships and sweeping the floor. So let's hear from Ayana a little bit more about that. Hi, my name is Brooke Lockwood, and my favorite part about band is like just getting to spend so much time with my friends and then like performing definitely and like getting to hear the crowd cheer whether it's like local or like a competition like seeing the reactions of the crowd it really just like makes you feel happy inside and it just makes me feel like everything that we've done is like worth it it's great hi i'm taryn smith i'm a flute and um i think my favorite thing about band is just how everyone is a family because we're with each other 24 7 so you just like become a family and you become a part of one another if that makes sense and everyone just loves each other everyone um, you just really become close together and no matter what you guys will always be family because um, yeah and everyone's really nice and sweet and yeah Hi, my name is Blake Galvin. Hi, and I'm John Marinich. And this past weekend, we went to Bentonville, Arkansas for the marching band competition. We won the best percussion award, and um, we put in a lot of work for it. And we practiced on Mondays, and sometimes Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, Thursdays, and sometimes Fridays, and also Saturdays. And we ended up getting second overall in the whole competition as a band. Thank you, Marching Eagles, and good luck on your season. DJ, you okay? Yeah, man, I'm just, I've just been so down lately. What? The just, kid, not the kid. School, girls, I just Ooh, can't get a break. Having a tough time out there? Can't get a break. I think a lot of people out, a lot of people are a little sad in the valley. So let's hear from Amanda Cheney about that. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I've just been down in the dumps recently. Have you talked to anybody about it? Yeah. Why well, the place for you? Hey Eagles, this week is Mental Health Week. Yep, today we're going to be visiting some of the counselors to see what to do when you're feeling down in the dumps. This is our school therapy dog, Harold. He brings a smile to all of our faces. My name is Mr. Vanyo, and so we're talking about mental health. And if somebody's struggling with mental health, maybe having some challenges there, um, you know, one of the first things you can do is talk to a trusted friend. Um, you know, friends aren't trained in mental health necessarily, but friends can be very supportive. They know a lot about you and sometimes they can give you some advice that's helpful. But then the obvious next step would be to come to talk to somebody like me. So I work with freshmen at Grain Valley High School and then we have three other counselors 
that split the alphabet for grades 10 through 12. And we honestly, we talk to kids every day about these very um, types of issues and challenges that kids face. And so, you know, we've, we've heard about everything and we are pretty good at usually helping give guidance to figure out a way to move forward in a positive way. Yeah, I'm like, look what she's saying. Like, it's just, it just keeps getting to me. Man. Another just, girl, DJ? Oh, I, it's not like that though, I oh promise. Oh my gosh. But I just like, How I'm many trying. girls can you yap about? You should join Speech and Debate. Speech and Debate? Yeah. Wait, isn't their season about to start? Oh, what? Maybe I should Dang, get into that. Yeah. Maybe I should get mm -hmm. into that. Let's hear more about it from Genevieve. Hi, I'm Miss Bowers and I'm the head coach for the Speech and Debate team. Here the last month, we've been prepping for our season. The things that we've been doing to prep, we've been researching our topics. We've been coming up with speech ideas. We've been finding plays and books to condense down so that way we could memorize it so we could come up with our ideas to perform. But really, we've just been practicing, we've been researching, and we've been getting our ideas together so we can have another successful season. Our season starts and it goes all the way until June. And so we have a really long season, but it's a really fun and eventful one. So we're really excited and we have a lot of fundraisers this year and we are hosting our tournament in November, November 8th and 9th. So look out for that. And we're excited for the year that's ahead of us. Hi, I'm Chase Dodd with Grain Valley Future Debate. I'm a cabinet member, uh, mainly in charge of like fundraising, organizing that stuff, talking to the businesses. And uh, I was asked to kind of explain what speech and debate was and what we're kind of doing for this upcoming season. And to put it bluntly, speech and debate is uh, professional yapping. Uh, I know it sounds silly, and it kind of is, but if you're doing a debate, like policy, puff, or LD, your whole thing is like making cases, reading briefs, finding information on topics that are like given to you, and you just kind of going around and you yap about it for a while and you just present your argument in a professional manner. But like, then we have speeches. And speeches is where it gets really complicated. You have like IEs, which are individual events. Those include a range of things. And then we have other things like infos, and uh, which I guess are and I. You get the point. There's a lot of stuff. Speech is complicated. It's not really my specialty. It so speaking of speech and debate, mm -hmm. I walked in there the other day. You know what I heard? What were they I saying? heard one of them use this word. Colloquialism. How do you even say that? Colloquialism. Colloquialism. What even is that? What? I don't think I've ever heard that in the e ever in my life. No. Hmm. Um, let's hear more about it from Genevieve and Ashlyn. Call a quizzalum. <laughs> call. Call. Colloquialism. 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 But listen, Cam, it's like, I really want to work this out with her, though. So, like, another what do one? I do? Another no, girl? But it's not like that, though. How many girls can you talk to? It's only one. No, I'm done. Candace, I'm done. No, I just can't. listen. Hear me out. I can't. Just nope. listen. I guess that's it. <laughs>